Back today on my local mountain pass with a very, very nice new Porsche 911. This is the 992 Carrera T. I've only heard good things about this car and super happy to have it here today on what is so far a dry day. I can't remember the last time I went up filming and it was dry. So let's hope it stays dry because I personally really missed driving a Porsche on some dry twisty roads. So today heading out for a coffee run, super cool in this python green. Picked this up yesterday, I've got it for the next week from Porsche Switzerland. Quick walk around before we head out for a drive, have a bit of fun. As I said, I'm really liking this color and I have to admit up till now when I saw python green on Porsches for sale, actually I didn't really like it in pictures but seeing it in real life and seeing how it just really stands out in a nice way against all of the colors here. Would I ever buy a Porsche in this color? Probably not still, but nonetheless, I am liking it, especially, you know, with the contrast against things like this, the carbon roof. This is quite a nice spec on this. I have to say, Porsche Switzerland, you did a nice job when ordering this. So this one, the base model in Switzerland, will set you back 150,000 Swiss francs. This one in particular has 30,000 Swiss francs of extras, bringing it up to 180,000 francs. And I love the rear, as always, on any 992, especially with the light bar and the red tail light, the light bar against the Python green looks seriously cool. morning drive cruised here for around one hour this morning in total comfort this has the comfort seats which do look really really cool but you can also option the Carrera with the carbon bucket seats as I have in my GT3 so Porsche's twin turbo flat six putting out 380 horsepower which is a super nice amount to have fun with in the real world and with a manual gearbox seven speed manual gearbox which feels really really nice so far I guess the seventh gear is of course for motorway cruising it's like an override gear so you have the best of both worlds you have the seventh gear for the long trips on the motorway but then on a pass like this of course you never get into seventh gear in sport mode you can put on the automatic rev match you can turn it off of course and do that manually so sound wise from the outside i think it's not much to talk about Maybe something could be changed there with an aftermarket exhaust, I don't know. But on the inside, however, because they've hollowed out the back, no rear seats as well as standard, you're getting this really nice kind of raspy sound inside mixed with a bit of induction sound. So from the inside, it's really, really enjoyable. I've been enjoying the sound the whole way here this morning. Tops out at 7,000 RPM. And as I just found out then, when you get to 7,000 RPM, it seems to be just between six and 7,000. You really get quite a heavy induction sound. Very nice. Just a hint of GT3 in there, just a small hint. So you could option this with the PDK, which again would be amazing. I'm a fan of both gearboxes, but I always say, you know, get the right gearbox for the car. So with this amount of power, 
And with the idea of this car, I would go for the manual gearbox in this. It's 35 kilograms lighter than your normal 992 Carrera. And they've done that by no back seats, which you can option back in for an extra cost. You can pay to have the seats back and lightweight windows and a lighter battery. And this 100% feels way more exciting for me than the Carrera S. Yes, the Carrera S has more power, but honestly, if I owned a Carrera S now, I think I would sell it to buy one of these. I really do. This just instantly feels more exciting than the Carrera S. And the fact that you can option it with the carbon buckets, which are super comfortable. It's 10 millimeter lower also than your standard Carrera. The steering feels better as well. Not sure why exactly. Maybe those 35 kilograms make quite a big difference with how the car feels, I don't know. It just feels more nimble. Okay, here is my uh, wall I normally test the exhaust on. I, I'm not expecting much from this. Squeaky window, not good. Let's try the exhaust. Yeah, not bad. I've heard better, <laughs> definitely. From the outside, as I said, it's, it's just not doing much. At least from the inside, you're having this sound which adds so much pleasure to driving. Rolling start to 80, flat down. See, did you hear that? Between six and 7,000 RPM makes quite some noise. Let's do it again. It sounds good and it feels good as well. Steering is lovely. <laughs> this is really quite a fun car. Well, quite being a understatement, definitely. That's completely daily usable. <laughs> oh, I've missed the twisties. And this car is exactly for that. Jump in it, go to work, whatever you need to do in your daily business. But then take the long way home. I mean, I'm doing all of this in such comfort. It's fantastic. Anyway, morning drive done. Let's head into town to get some well-needed coffee.